Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. Today we are going to be making a 3D project, which means three-dimensional, it means it's popping off of the page, and we're going to make some 3D flowers. And if I turn it, you can see that they are popping off of that page and that they're going to be really cool. This is very simple to make. It looks kind of, it, it doesn't look too difficult, but it can be kind of difficult for some of my younger learners, but this is not going to be hard at all. You guys are going to rock this out. I can feel it. Um, but let's go ahead and show you how, it ma how we make it. So for this project, you're going to need a background piece of paper. I used blue. You're going to need strips of paper cut in each of the colors that you want for your flowers. You'll need four strips. And I cut the paper like if this was my piece of paper, I cut the paper down the short side of the paper to get the right length. And so I have my three colors, this peach color, this uh, magenta, and a pink. You'll need stems for each one, and I might add leaves. I haven't decided yet, but my stems are obviously going to be green pieces of paper. I only need three because I'm doing three flowers. And then I need three yellow circles that are going to be the middle of my flower where the pollen goes. Besides paper, you're going to need a pair of scissors to help you with the cutting, and you'll need glue. I'm going to be using a glue stick, but you can use um, just bottle glue if that's what you have, and you'll just have to wait a little longer for it to dry before you can uh, manipulate all the pieces together. Let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I glued down my stems and notice I made them all different um, sizes. I wanted to have room for each flower to kind of have its own space. So I did, I did trim off some pieces of green from these two just to give my flowers something different. I'm going to show you how to make one flower and then I'll hit fast forward for the others. But if I'm going to do this peach flower, what I have to think about is I'm going to lay my four, and I might do an X instead, or slightly an X. I'm going to lay my four pieces of colored paper, kind of like this. And that's how they're going to be glued down. So I am going to have to pick them up and do it again. But I'm doing this just so I can see it and so you can see it. So... I'm going to be laying them down kind of like a star to begin with and the reason I'm doing that is because it's showing me exactly where to go. I'm putting a little bit of glue down on my paper and I'm going to start by laying what I think is the middle down on the glue. Once I have one I can do a second and this time I'm just going to try to cross it like an X or a T. Mine's wanting to wobble a little bit, that's okay. The third one has to go between these two spaces or between these, whichever one you want, but it's going between spaces. And then the last one goes the opposite way. So now I have my star. So once I have the star, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put some glue in the middle. And then I'm going to start pulling up these edges to lay on top. So I've pulled the edge over and stuck it in the middle. Now I can put glue and I'll do the opposite side. Pull it up. Stick it to the middle. And you'll notice it makes these nice little bows. I'm going to do that to all of these pieces. And all that's going to start doing is it's going to start giving me those petal shapes that I want. It gets a little trickier when it gets more flower. So if you want to do three instead of four strips you could. All that would do is that it, you'd have to spread it out a little bit 
more, but it'd be less to handle because it does get a little tricky. Ooh, throw in the glue stick. And it doesn't really matter which one's on top at the end. You just won't. Oops, that one's coming up. I'm going to have to be careful. You just want to make sure all of them come to the middle. And I'm pressing down on mine a little bit. That's just to kind of get it um, situated. But you can see it's already looking more like a flower. The last thing I need for it is to take one of my yellows and stick it right in the middle of all of the petals. If it'll stop sticking to my fingers. And so now I have a really pretty little 3D flower. And mine's hanging off the page a little bit. And you could always pull this stem in and that would shift the flower in. Or you could use smaller strips, but that's going to be one flower. I'm going to start going for these flowers and get into fast forward. came out really cool. I did end up adding leaves because I thought um, I thought it just needed it. You could always add grass if you wanted to or even some suns, maybe some bees floating around here. Just turn it to the side so you can see that these are 3D because they are popping off of the page. I hope you guys had so much fun and I'll see you later. Bye!